one, if your variable x and y has a single, is a differentiable of single variable. Okay, we have here. If u is a differentiable function of two variables, x and y, and both x and y are differentiable functions of the single variable t. Okay, single variable. A while ago, our example, in our previous examples, our x and y, that is differentiable functions of R and S, right? So here, in this next example, our x and y, that is a single differentiable function of a single variable. So differentiable siya for a single variable. So then u is a function of a single variable t, okay? That is a differentiable of single variable t. So... Our answer for that, that is called as a total derivative of u with respect to t. Total derivative. Because that is considered as total derivative. That is not a partial derivative. Because for your x and y, you have single variable. So formula here, you will have, for example, that is with respect to t, you will have total var your formula that is du over dt, total derivative. So, dili na tong ana, du over dt. Dili na ana. Dili na ana. That is total derivative, this one. Straight na siya ang d ni mo. If you will have partial, mo na siya, partial derivative of u with respect to t. But, in this example, we have only one single variable. So, total derivative na. So, total derivative, that is du over dt. So, partial derivative of u with respect to t. Partial derivative of u with respect to t. Variables, x and y. So, dy, dy, dx over dx. Okay, we will have examples so that we can understand for this one. Okay, example. u is equal to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Okay. x is equal to t cosine t. Okay. If you are going to look at here, okay. If we are going to look at here, we have only one variable, t, and only t, okay? Single variable. y is equal to t sine t. So, we have on, already, only single variable. So, here, what we are going to find is the total derivative, not partial derivative. Why total derivative? Because u is a derivative, of, uh, because the derivative of u, that is only with respect to t, no other variables here. Unlike kanina, that our x and y, that was expressed with two variables. That was r and s, right? So here, we have only var one variable. That is only t. So here, that is total derivative of u with respect to t. So formula, if you are going to find the total derivative of u with respect to t, so, how many variables we have in our given u? We have two variables, x, y. So, you will have only x and y. So, du over dt, so partial derivative of u with respect to t. And then, partial derivative of u with respect to t, two variables, x, y. So, that is now your formula. So, derivative of u with respect to x, okay. Solution, derivative of u with respect to x. So, you will have y here, that would be y squared that is now a considered as constant because our variable is x. So, derivative of u with respect to x, that is 2x plus 2y. Okay. That is, this one is 0. dx over dt. Okay. dx over dt, derivative of x with respect to t. If we are going to look at here, if that is with respect to t, t, we can find the derivative of t. We can find the derivative of cosine t. So, how are we going to solve this one? We are going to apply the product rule. Okay, Derivative of a product. That's the reason we will have derivative of cosine. So, you will have cosine t, derivative of t, that is 1. So, then you will have t, derivative of cosine, that is negative sine. So, that's the reason. Derivative of a product, this one. Plus, du, dy. Okay, partial derivative of u with respect to y. With respect to y, x is a constant. So, x squared here is 0. 
So your answer here is 2x plus 2y. So that's the reason you will have 2x plus 2y. Derivative of y with respect to t, that is product. We can find the derivative of t. We can find the derivative of sine t. So you are going to use the product rule. So you will have derivative of a product. Then the answer will be sine t, derivative of t, that is 1, plus t, derivative of sine, that is cosine t. Okay. So therefore, okay, 2x plus 2y. Okay. If you are going to look at this one, you have common. That is 2x plus 2y. So bring that out, factor that out. So you will have 2 x that is equivalent to t cosine t t cosine t y that is t sine t t sine t i factor this out so ipagawas nato na siya so that's the reason i 2 is common so that's the reason you will have 2 so what is inside cosine t minus t sine t this one then you will have sine t plus t cosine t this one okay so what we're going to do so you will have cosine t t sine t plus sine t plus t cosine t multiply that with t cosine t plus t sine t then you will arrive at this answer okay then you will arrive at this answer and then okay from double angle formula cosine squared t minus sine squared t that is equivalent to cosine 2t and then you will have 2 sine t sine t double angle formula that is equal to sine to t. Okay, that is now your final answer. Okay, so thank you. We have some exercises. You answer only what uh, you answer only those numbers which has a key answer from the book. So, okay, thank you.